Okay, today we are going to be writing a nonfiction summary of chapter five of The Candy Bomber. So open up your books to page 51. You'll want to go through this um, with me. And then you guys should also have a copy of this worksheet in front of you. It says nonfiction summary. So remember, nonfiction is a book that is true. Fiction means fake, so not fake. Um, it is a true book. And summaries are slightly different. I know we've been practicing summaries all year long um, with all of the books that we've read this year. Um, but it's a little bit different for nonfiction because um, you have to find that central idea. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to just briefly remind you of what happened in chapter five because it has been a while since we read it. And um, while I'm doing that, I want you guys to think of what is the topic. So remember a topic is just one to two words like what is this text talking about? So chapter five is the one with um, Peter Zimmerman and he is trying to get uh, Lieutenant Halverson to drop candy to his house and he keeps sending him artwork. Um, but as Lieutenant Halverson can't find his house, um, he Peter keeps getting more mad at him. And finally, Lieutenant Halverson just mails him the presents. Um, then it also talks about Mercedes Simon and she has also asked for candy. And once again, he can't find her house. So he just mails her some candy as well. Um, it goes on to talk about some other people who were impacted by these candy drops. Um, there's the kid who jumped into the duck pond. Um, there's also the father who wrote in saying that he didn't have anything to give his son for his birthday, um, but a parachute fell on his roof and he was able to get it. Um, people are just keep writing in and telling him how thankful they are and also requesting chocolate. Um, Anything else important that happened? Um, and then it says, Lieutenant Halverson was the most popular because all the press coverage made him something of a celebrity um, because he was the one who started it. So he got so many gifts from people. Um, he, they talk about they got him, they made him some bookends from the destroyed parliament building. They made him a gingerbread Santa Claus carrying a candy parachute. So you can kind of see that there. Um, and one girl gave him her like prized teddy bear. And yeah, and then somebody recalls that that um, it wasn't the chocolate that was important. It was the fact that people in America cared about them enough to do all of this. So go ahead and write down what do you think the topic of this chapter is? So here's what I came up with. Um, I know this is three words and I said one to two, but it's it's close enough. What I just mean is like not a full sentence and not like just a ton of words. Um, so I feel like that the topic of this chapter is that the people were thankful for candy. If you came up with something else that is you feel like it's the topic of the chapter, you can leave your answer. We can have different answers. That's fine. Okay. Um, let me change this to central idea. That's the term we use. Um, so in one sentence, what is the central idea of this article? So to come up with the central idea, you're going to look at the topic and then you're going to think like, if I could sum up this chapter, this topic in one full sentence, what would I write? Make sure when you're writing your central idea, don't phrase it as a question and don't phrase it as something that doesn't make sense on its own. So I'm not going to write like, um, people, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, um, so like why people were thankful for the candy bomber. That doesn't tell me anything. It's like, if you read this paragraph, you'll find out why people were thankful for the candy bomber. I don't want that. I want you to straight out tell me why were people thankful. Okay. Um, so like a good example of one um, I'm going to look at somebody's from the central idea check. Um, so like this is one about the Avengers. The Avengers is a series of movies that is very successful and has made superhero movies more popular. So that is like one sentence that just sums up the whole Avengers franchise. So go ahead and write down a central idea telling about what does this chapter tell us about people in Germany being thankful for candy. Okay, here's what I came up with. 
People in Germany were thankful for candy because it gave them hope that people in America cared about them. So your central idea that you wrote should be something similar to that. Um, you can see that this is kind of like it encompasses the whole chapter. Um, so, um, so this is talking about like every single person who got a parachute, not just one. Um, it's making sure that we cover every single one. Okay. Now, um, key details that support the main idea. So what you're going to do in these boxes is you're going to go through the chapter and you are going to find examples. That's sorry, central idea. You're going to find examples of people being thankful for candy. Um, so I'm going to just start at the beginning of the chapter and I'm going to write about Peter Zimmerman. So I'm going to say Peter Zimmerman um, sent letters with artwork to thank Lieutenant Halverson. And of course, he also had that streak of like ungratefulness, but he did send um, some letters saying that he was thankful. Um, let's do one more. Sorry, that is not your bell. <laughs> um, let's do one more all together. Um, I'm going to look in here. Um, I'm also going to do uh, the one about the guy jumping in the pond. So I'm going to say Klaus Rakowski um, wrote a thank you letter with a funny story about falling in a duck pond. So that's another example of somebody being grateful. Go ahead and I want you guys to now write um, two more examples of things that support the main idea. Okay, so finally what we're going to do is these main ideas uh, or these key details are going to be what we use to write our summary. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the central idea first. So the central idea. I am going to uh, type mine out. Okay, so central idea, people in Germany were thankful for candy because it gave them hope that people in America cared about them. And then we're just going to use our regular transition words, first, second, next, after. Um, and we're going to put in these key details that we have. And there can be more than four key details. That was just what I put into this worksheet. So I'm going to say first, Peter Zimmerman sent... Lieutenant Hal Halverson. Uh, that could be just on the next line. Um, with oh, letters with artwork to thank him for the candy drops. Okay, then I'm gonna do like next Klaus Rakowski sent. a grateful letter to tell the candy bomber about his funny experience falling in a duck pond. Okay, um, then you guys are going to go through and do the same thing with your last two sentence or your last two uh, key details from the text, and then you will have a summary. Make sure you guys really take the time to do this because you will be doing this on your final test, um, which we will be taking this week. So good luck.